attention. I know she's been here. The statue. What? This. The Degas. Yeah. What about it? It was in my house. It was Tracy's. What the hell have I been telling you? Am I talking to my shadow? You're Sherlock Holmes with this statue. You can buy him in any department store for $89.95. Looks just like the real thing. You can buy him in any department store for $89.95. Looks just like the real thing. I wanted to lighten up everyone's day tonight by showing you a gift that I received in the mail from East Africa. Brother Nipsey's from East Africa, and it's so ironic that I went to the mailbox yesterday. Yesterday, but I finally opened it up tonight, and a brother who I never met, a brother from Tanzania, East Africa, who I never met, sent me this beautiful African statue made of Mapingo wood, brothers and sisters. Look at this. Look at the artwork. Look at the detail. Look at this. A brother who I don't even know spent his own Tanzanian money to send Dr. Umar a custom-made, custom-made statue of our ancestors, an ancestral tree. And for those of you who don't know, this is made out of Mapingo wood. M-P-I-N-G-O, Mapingo wood. Mapingo wood is one of the hardest, strongest woods in the world. It is one of the heaviest woods in the world. And if memory serves me correctly, it only grows in Tanzania. It only grows in Tanzania. This wood is so strong, brothers and sisters, you cannot drive a nail through it unless you first drill into it. You cannot screw into this wood unless you first drill into it. Now, I got checked out, you know, but I'm not sexually active. I'm celibate, but, I, you know, I got a clean bill of health. Now, I got checked out, you know, but I'm not sexually active. I'm celibate, but, I, you know, I got a clean bill of health. You cannot screw into this wood. You cannot screw into this wood. Hey, Dr. Umar? Yes. Okay. Well, I, um, I, uh, I just connected with him over the phone and he came to see me but I didn't get a chance to tell him the story because um I just like one thing about me is I'm very I guess I'm too accommodating you know I um and people take advantage of me because they see that I got you know mental problems you know with the stroke and all but um it wasn't successful. And then, then you know, be, can, can I be honest with you? You can be very honest. Okay. Um, Dr. Umar made me suck his dick. And then he, um, he told me he didn't want to talk about nothing. And I wanted, I wanted to talk like I'm talking to you so, so that somebody would know the story. Right. And they could help, you could help other people by telling the people, okay? I'm trying to warn the people. But, you know, Dr. Umar is just take over. And it, it wound up me doing what he wanted to do. And he didn't even want to listen to me. But anyway, man. The man is a fake-ass nigga. And I want my motherfucking money. He will not stop. He is insane with his shit. You need to watch out and not uh, receive the things that he say. Ain't nowhere in the world I let him tell me nothing about my children when he's out there being a perverted man looking and messing with children and women. I wouldn't give him shit. And I have documentation to prove what I'm saying. The man is not legitimate at all. He is not a legitimate person and who gives a damn if somebody got a fucking doctor's degree when they don't know how to treat a human being he ain't man enough to cover his own shit